with open giant cladding systems, uh, I've seen on projects where the shadow line is created by asphalt, asphalt impregnated uh, felt paper. And I think it's a, it's a fundamentally dumb idea. Uh, asphalt impregnated felt paper is not designed to be left exposed to ultraviolet light. So what should be used in an open joint cladding system if you want a dark shadow line? Well, there are products that are specifically designed for long-term exposure ex to ultraviolet light. We have a long history of adding, for example, carbon black to the covering of telegraph lines in the United States and Canada to protect them from ultraviolet light. I mean, have you ever wondered why telegraph lines are black? That's because we added carbon black. There are materials that are specifically designed to be able to resist the UV loading over a long period of time. And those are the materials that should be selected for open joint cladding systems. In terms of the other layers in an open joint cladding system, uh, the most practical and highest, best location for the air control layer or air barrier is on the exterior part of the sheathing uh, behind the continuous exterior insulation and behind the supplemental water, UV, and rain control layer behind the open joint cladding. So the best place for the air control layer is on the sheathing. It gives you the highest uh, performance. It's the easiest, most practical location to uh, install it. And it's also protected uh, by the insulation and all the other layers from the damage functions such as water, heat, and ultraviolet light. So it is the best location uh, for, many lo for many reasons.